Welcome to this introduction to Seed Code Complete. Complete takes our pro calendar and adds to it a fleshed out contacts, projects, and invoices system, and then shows all that related information on the calendar. Where our calendar was designed as something that you would bolt on to something you already have, Complete is the foundation of new work. It's something to designed for you to build out from. And whereas our previous versions of Complete were all about layouts, right? We made a, a beautiful calendar layout. We made layouts that were difficult for uh, non-technical people to make, easy for them to modify, but difficult for them to make. This calendar is all about behaviors. And you're probably familiar with some of these behaviors already, such as drag and drop. It's already in the pro calendar. But Complete introduces some new calendars, or some new behaviors. And I wanted to show those to you now. So um, the first one is that we've introduced the scan chart. And it's got um, these toggles that you can open and close projects and zoom in and out. But we've also taken a look at our filters to give things that are a little more appropriate to what people really need to work on. People need to work on their active projects. So here we've got this easy way to just kind of show your active projects. And when we talk about behaviors, look at these these chains here that show that these three items are pinned together or linked together. When I mean behavior, I, I mean when if I move this drawing out a little further, if it takes me a little longer to do that drawing, I'm going to miss my delivery deadline here and I'm going to have to kind of hold down the shift key to drag here. Um, reset this. Uh, I'm going to have to get that export and build done much more quickly. Those are the kind of behaviors we're talking about, but even more than that, how did these milestones get here in the first place? Well, let's take a look at a project that's a little earlier in its life here. This is some sample data from a customer that's using an early version. We can see send completed drawings is the last thing that we did here. So let's hold down the shift key and jump over to this project and take a look at this schedule. So I can see that, yeah, that's the last thing I did. I need to see a little more room here. So let's pretend that these two things were done. I'm just going to hold shift down and mark those as done. And that the customer has now paid us their first 40%, almost half down. This is our schedule, our, our schedule, our signal to begin work. So when we get that payment, we've got some user configured options here to add things to the calendar when those payments happen. And you can see we're grabbing some forecast hours and some other things here. And now we can see all that work on the Gantt chart. And if I clear this filter, I can see this in the context of the other things that I have to do. We're pretty excited about these behaviors. These are the kind of things that people want their computers to do for them, right? When I do X, I want you to do Y. Um, we've got some other stuff going on here too. Notice that when I made that change, I notified my team, right? I've got an audit log here and I'm looking through the audit log to see what's happened recently on the project. But we've also written email notifications, both client side and server side, so that when certain things happen, you can tell your team or tell your customers. And we've included a little snapshot link here so that when somebody on my team can kind of just jump right out here and take a look at this. Um, this is the foundation that we're using for new projects. We hope it'll be the foundation that you're using too. Um, we're really excited about this. There should be more details and documentation coming soon. Thanks for checking it out.